but it's cool. Uh, got another episode coming to y'all today. Started the episode off this week with blessings because there's a lot of blessings to get to today. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that happened that just hype about. So I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. going to have that blessings playing a little bit in the background a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me know. Let me know what's going on. Let, let me see who I got on the podcast. Greg, tell the people what's happening. What's up? What's up? Just chilling. Be oh. blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like you said. So. That's what's happening. Bless. Cody, what's happening, man? Hey, what they talking about, man? Can we can we do the intro over? Because I, I had put the phone down real quick. I, I, I like to throw in the minutes from the podcast. I, I missed it. Yeah. I just heard Greg doing it. And you I, good. I, I got you. It. Man, you sure? I got you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Took about 10 seconds for, for me to get a Man's View podcast, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, we got, got it. He didn't, have a, he didn't have an enthusiasm that, that, that needs to come Because I, you know, I was expecting you to do it, but I mean. Well, because I, I got to be tough. You got to be tough. Hey, man, when your brother's slipping, man, you got to go ahead and come behind. You know what I'm saying? I'll pick him up. Yeah. I got you. Next time I, I get the, you know, enthusiasm with him. So, I, <laughs> you know, to be there. But we good. We good. Uh, nah, but everything good, man. Um, just maintaining, man. I'm a little bit busy. I just came back from uh, the barbershop and getting food. You know how? All right, I'm. I'm this is gonna be quick. We yeah. had. I had to get my haircut today, and so little man, you know, needed his haircut too. So I picked him up. Bam, went to the hair get a haircut. So I called him. I said, "Yo, I mean, you got?" And he says, "I got one in front of you." I'm like, "Bet." You know, I got enough time to pick, pick up my little man, go get our haircut. Go get the food. I'll be home by the same time that we said we're going to do the podcast, right? Yeah. So And we late. I get up there. I, yeah, we late. We well, from the schedule time. Well, uh, it's, from, it's, it's right on time for G. Cause G had another situation. But mm-hmm. I'm talking yeah. about me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm great. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get up there to the barbershop. And, you know, he got a, he got a cat in the chair. And so, I'm, you know, I'm sitting down with a little man. We chopping it up, you know, talking crazy. You know, the Texas beat Dallas or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the first time I'm seeing him since then. One of the cats, a big Dallas fan. So, you know, I'm talking crazy. You know what I'm talking about? So, <laughs> doing all that. And uh, somebody come in and they ask. He's like, yo, they asked my barber, how many you got? He's like, I got one and then I got these two. And he pointed at me and JR. I'm like, us too. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm saying, yo, one is just in the chair, ain't it? He's like, no, I got this other guy up there. So, when he was saying, is that he had one outside of the person that he was actually cutting. I'm like, bro, that's not what you mm-hmm. told me on the phone. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I'm already thrown off because it's another cat in the equation. And I done told Franz, you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever we could do the pie, I told him the time I'm good. And he checked right. the two. You know, he checked the two to see what time you was good and everything like that. And, yeah, that threw it all off, man. So when, he, when Franz was ready to do it, I'm sitting in the spot where we're getting the food picking the food up, and I'm like, bro, I ain't, I ain't even, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even at home yet, but, yeah. you know, give me 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying, and so, he threw me all the way off, and that's how Barbara threw you, man, that's why, sometimes do, you don't man. even need to call, you just need to pop up on them, and be like, Absolutely. hey, who, who, who got next? But I couldn't, <laughs> though, because it's next. further down the road, yeah, it's mm. further down the road, you know what I'm saying, but you gotta treat it like pick up basketball, man, who got next, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> show up, and be like, who got next, just mm. you can throw your hat in the ring, man, he, he yeah. upset me, bro. He really I mean, but that. you know that's that barber shop thing, though, man. That he hit you with the, the barber okey doke, you know. Yeah, he, uh, you yeah, know, me on, and Franz Barber has uh, hit us with that numerous times. Oh so, man, you know, I don't even, I don't even call I him no more. That's I just like... pop up too. That's all. Uh, is he gonna <laughs> yeah. lie? Exactly. You just I mean, but, show at, le- at least that's... your barber was like, you know, what I'm saying he ain't counting the one in the chair. He got one <laughs> off to the side. Our barber don't count the three people in front of us. He, he just say, "Yeah, I'm good." I said, yo, how, how many you got, man? I got about uh about three, about two, three. You know what I'm saying? Be about five people waiting by the time you get up in there. You hear me? So, yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to Shit Talent, though. Shout out to Shit Talent, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, 100, 100. Now, see, the one, the, I, my guy, don't, he don't usually, he don't usually tell me lies like that, though. So, he, uh, he, threw, me, he threw me off with it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, oh, man. And I got yeah. a pit. I got a pit for him that I'm about to give him because my neighbor moved. And they got like a barbecue pit with a little smoke box to the side and everything. Oh, you about to open yeah, Well, the, yeah, I'm about to get to, I'm about to get to the bar. I was gonna keep it out there, you know, um, outside, but mm-hmm. I don't need to. I don't uh, need to enjoy, you know, because I already, did, I already got a, a real good one. So the one that you got a name, you got a name, got a name for the one that you 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 was winning the awards on. You got a name to it. I know it got a name to it. 
Well, that one is a custom pick. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it, 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 that's it, the it one. Was custom built. Yeah, it was custom built. It's it's a top. It's called Texas Texas original piece. Uh, Texas original. He, he asking he pick asking you what you what named it, it. You know what I'm saying? Not the name of the dog on pick. He said, "What did you name it? Like Lucille yeah, or something you know, like you know, that?" No, I just call it. No, that's what I'm saying. I call it oh, a okay. top because that's you, what it is. It's a Texas original pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I call it. You know what I'm saying? It got everything engraved on it. But the one the neighbor gave me, you know, it's not. It's not, you know, it's not built, you know, as sturdy as mine. So I was like, okay, I can keep it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm giving it to the bar. I asked the bar, I said, because he was asking me about, you know, the pit I got. Because he done had some food off the pit, you know what I'm saying? And so he was asking about it, and then he said he wanted to get a pit. And so I thought about him when I got this other pit. So I was like, I'm going to give it to you. But since he lied to me, man, I don't know if I'm going to give it to him like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... I might want to. I might sell it to him now. So give it to him for the free ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Right. You want to charge him? Yeah, I might. I, I I need a little something up off of it, man. Cause you cost me my time. I need give me about fifty. Mm-hmm. I need to add about 50 or something like that. Am I wrong? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell them, say, man, I got this pill. I need to get spot. I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, nah, I ain't doing like that. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> leverage it. I didn't, I didn't leverage it like that, bro. I did not. Uh, I, did okay. not. I probably should have, but mm-hmm. I didn't. Yeah. I mean, how bad he wanted. You know what I'm saying? You know how bad he wanted. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, now, I'm going to give it to him, man. But after I give it to him, I don't want no more bullshit from him, bro. Really? Like, he better, tell me, he better tell me you'll be in the chair in 15 minutes type shit. Absolutely. That's time's finished. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. ETA. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need. ETA. Because my guy, my guy, when I stayed on the north side of Houston, bro, my guy, when I used to call him, he said, man, I'll get you in at, he'll give me a time. <laughs> so I get up there. At like four fifteen, he might be yeah. finishing up a guy hair, and somebody else, you know what I'm saying, was was like ready to get his hair cut. He's like, nah, he called for you. And then the other guy be like, I thought mm-hmm. you didn't do appointments, and he don't do appointments, but he told me he's gonna be available <laughs> at four fifteen. So I just slide off in there, uh, get man. chopped up, you know what I'm saying, and slide off. It might Sound be like an episode of Martin or something. You know? <laughs> Martin, I want my barbershop hey, name. <laughs> Can I get my barbershop name, Martin? Yeah. But he look out. He look out. He look out for me, man. So that's why I feel. I don't know. That's how I man. But that, that's, that's what it funny, man. That's what's happening. That's why Marcus that's is, man. Marcus go all the way to the south side to get his, get his hair cut. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Well, I will subscribe him. I will. I will so. put him to my barber. But you see how my barber just did me. So I don't know. I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't. Nah. I ain't gonna. Everybody come out there with Southside Fade, fucking with your barber. I ain't messing with him. Um, <laughs> shout, shout out to shout out to Cody. You know what I'm talking about? At least he made it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a good thing. Uh, Greg, man, yeah. Cody that's pretty much gave us a synopsis of what's happening, what happened today. I ain't even gonna go yeah. into the week. What happened in the week on Cody? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> matter of fact, a, a quick quick overview, Cody. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been gone. Um, the last episode we had was the couples therapy. You know what I'm saying? That was a good yeah. episode. And, uh, I like that. We was thoroughly entertained. So we ain't really heard from the partners in like, you know what I'm saying, what, two weeks now? This is the second week? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a little while. I love that, though, man. Um, Y'all had two couples outside of you and Kim, so y'all had three couples in, in total. And it was yeah. good, man, because it was a lot mm-hmm. of different perceptions. You had uh, yeah, different good, dynamics man. when, it, when mm-hmm. it came to ages. You had different dynamics. Um, that was dope, man. I, I really enjoy. I thoroughly enjoyed that, man. Hey, I think did. it was uh, yeah. ex- extremely beneficial for for the podcast because I think it brought in um, different different dynamics of uh, well, I guess di- different demographics because yeah. we got people you know of all ages, not all ages, but you know just <laughs> outside of uh, you know just our age mm-hmm. uh, having a, an older perspective, a seasoned perspective. I don't like saying older, but it's more seasoned. Mm-hmm. And so that was dope, man. I, I really enjoyed that, man. And in the, the transparency too, mm-hmm. like all y'all was being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't really see it. I I, I got to see it on uh, on the YouTube joint. Uh, what's the YouTube channel? YouTube channel, man. You just gonna you just gonna put me on the spot like that, huh, bro? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> just want to know what the YouTube channel is. You, that's how you. That's how you can. That's how you can. Um, that that you know was saying, that see, was part of my blessings, man. But you cut me future. off talking about your barber. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna go in the. We got a YouTube channel and everything. Oh, now oh, I was gonna oh, do that. That's oh, part of the oh, blessings. Okay. Go ahead and get it. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, my bad, my man, bad. You know what I'm saying? Bad, my bad. Yeah, man, my hey. bad. But I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you know that I I enjoyed the MVP podcast even whenever I wasn't that, on the MVP podcast. It was great, bro. It was great. Within that time, though, man. 
uh, it was just same same thing, man. Just being busy. Okay. You know, working and doing doing everything that I normally do, man. That's how that was. That's what's happening. <laughs> what about you, Greg? How you how you been for these last two weeks, man? We ain't heard from you. Man, I've been chilling, man. Uh, blessed. You know what I'm saying? Just got some good news on, you know, some uh, some disability stuff. You know, so I'm blessed with that. Did I get that hundred uh, percent? Nah, not yet. Working on it though, my brother. Working uh, on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah, um, you know, P got a new car, man. We got a new car. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so happening. What she got? She got a Kia Forte. Cause she had a Kia Soul, so you know it's it's a 2018 man. We blessed man. That's what's happening. Yeah, like 17 miles. Is that the SUV? That's the SUV. Nah, uh, it's just a it's just a nice car. You know what I'm saying? But it's still 50 years old. Okay. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just blessed, man. Highly favored. Uh, you know, hopefully about to uh, win the new year. I'll be getting this part time job with the school, uh, working part time at the new rec center they got. You know what I'm saying? Just man and that on my off days. Well, my days I don't work to five. You know, I don't have class, so get a little change on that. And then um, I just got some tickets, some free tickets. As a matter of fact, yesterday for the hate year. Um, because I'm part of the diversity and inclusion uh, group or whatever association at the school. So they gave me that, and they're going to have, like, a panel discussion after the movie for the community. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, that's why I was going to hit you, because I was like, man, I know I'm be a part of that, but I really I really don't know Colleen like that, even though I grew up around here. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just really just trying to get back to the community, man. So that's why, you know, trying to be – part of that community and diversion, inclusion, whatever thing at, at school and just trying to do my thing, man, you know, they baby steps. So yeah. that's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope, man. Yeah, man. A lot of a lot of stuff's been happening for me in these last two weeks, man. I can't lie, man. Usually I just come usually I just come in and say, you know what I'm saying, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I can't say I'm just chilling no more. You know what I'm saying? Boy, the boy finally got internet at the house. Yes, and guess what? Guess what? I got blazing speeds, my nigga. My my speeds is blazing. You know what I'm saying? So guess what we gonna do just because Franz got internet, we gonna celebrate. <laughs> celebrate. Uh, you had you had me over there, huh? Woo, boy. I mean, I don't yeah. know if they heard the, I don't ball, know if they man. heard the podcast or whatever, but I mean, my speeds is blazing. I mean, <laughs> we get on 2K. I don't, I don't, I don't skip. No I lag. mean, no <laughs> lag. I'm, I'm, I'm cold locked. Yeah, I don't have no skip on the internet, so I ain't, yeah. I ain't lacking at all. We, we joining him because this connection is because my internet is legit. Can, What's happening? Can I ask? Can I ask you how many MVPs you got going on over there, my brother? <laughs> Say, say it one more time. How many MVPs? MVPs. Going on. Uh-oh. MVP. Uh-huh. S. Megabytes per second. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you said MVP. I was like, what? what, what no, no, no. Oh, yeah. No, 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 uh, no. You know what I'm saying? I bought the 400 megabyte plan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, megabytes <laughs> per second plan. Um, but I'm checking it out. I got about 450, 470 <laughs> on the megabytes. <laughs> That's what I'm. That's what I'm working with right now. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, there are okay. 500 megabytes on them boys, and I ain't even pay for the. They, they threw in an extra hundred for you, boy. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I ain't, I ain't know they did. I ain't know they did it that high, bro. Hey, that's bro. That's do, man. Sometimes when, when they when they finally do right. You know what I'm saying? When, when mean, they when they get they you do. right, when they get you right, they finally yeah, get you right. So shout out to yeah, Spectrum. Yeah. We're not gonna clap it up for y'all asses because y'all did take it that long. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still, thank you, yeah. but you know but, what I'm saying? Kind of fuck but, you at the same but, time. You, but you don't think you. they can be a sponsor? And you know? Oh you no, nah, they, they they killing they killing the megabyte game like that. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, Spectrum. Spectrum. All right, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it on the... Like, not halfway, halfway. Shout out to you. Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's, still yeah. A, it's still a thank you, but you know what I'm saying? Fuck you for the, <laughs> the seven months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's still late. Yeah, yeah. But thank you at the same but time. I heard I heard that in their corporate office, they were streaming uh, the MVP podcast. And so, you know what I'm saying? It was, a little bit, it, was a little bit of, it was a little bit of lag time. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. So, employees complained. Because it was like, I can't hear what's going on consistently because, you know, if, if it gets to buffering, you know, you lose the whole feel of mm-hmm. how the vibe of the podcast goes. Real talk. So I think they kind of, ex- I think they kind of expedited, you know what I'm saying, what the, the situation mm-hmm. at hand. And so, you know, it, it worked out in your favor, you know, at the, at the Hartman household. You For know sure. what I'm talking about? So, For sure. 
For sure. Nah, I'm, glad, I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad it worked out. Man, yeah, I, man. I, I need everybody to go check out because I told y'all. What did I tell you? I said, as soon as I get in that, I'm going to make this YouTube page. Guess what we got? We got a YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Last week's episode yeah. is up on there. Plus, I just threw in a bonus. Uh, everybody loved the the dick slapper episode, so I threw that bitch <laughs> on there too, just to throw it up on there. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go, y'all type in the MVP Man's View podcast, or type in the Man's View podcast, and that shit gonna pop up on your YouTube. You subscribe, yeah, su- press the subscribe right, button, man. subscribe to us. Once we done with this that's episode, right. that's gonna be that's gonna be the fastest way you can listen to us because it's gonna be on there first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So get us on yeah. YouTube, hook us up. Uh, hit that subscribe button and, and we're gonna keep on rocking like that. Also, yeah. I don't know if y'all checked out the Instagram for the MVP, but it's lit right Watch now. Out now. Watch out the, now. the Instagram is lit right now. You know what I'm saying? So okay. check out the MVP underscore podcast. You know what I'm saying? Check that out on Instagram. We in there. We in there. I, I got I got some of the some of the fellas, you know what I'm saying? Some of the I call them the MVP army out there, you know what I'm saying? Rocking <laughs> our shirts. I got I got yeah, them yeah. on there. I got the fellas on there. We good. We out here killing the game. So make sure y'all go check all that stuff out, man. We out here doing the bid. Also, I got some new shirts getting made. Man, got some new shirts being made. Guys, I I got them in. I'm, they're going to be black and gold. You know what I'm saying? I am a Saints on, fan. Man. I'm not supporting the NFL, but I still am a Saints fan at heart. So guess what? They're going to be black shirts, gold, right, gold, gold logo. Bam. They're going to be nice. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Got all the fellas going to get that. Also, uh, who you? Hey, but mm-hmm. no, no. Who, who you got making those shirts for you, my brother? Check out DJ's Creative Corner. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You heard on the last episode. <laughs> she fire. Yeah. She fuego. So if you got any any needs, go to Facebook. Type in DJ's Creative Corner. Check it out, and DJ gonna hook you up. You know what I'm saying? Right on. Right and on, I right and on. I apologize if I messed up the name in any way, but go put it. Type in DJ's Creative, and it's gonna pop. It's gonna pop up. She gonna hook you up. You know what I'm saying? She was asking me, did we need did we need anything else? Did we need book bags? Did we need and it got I was like, oh DJ, hold up now. Let, let's start off right here. Yeah. We, we we a meager podcasted right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we gotta call. We gotta call yeah. first. Yeah, we got yeah. Yeah, we, we you meager. Want to call yeah, yeah. We, we, we in the crock pot. Let us let us swim before. Yeah, definitely. But we we, we definitely yeah. gonna we definitely gonna do some of that though. You know what I'm saying? Because I yeah. liked it. But nah, um, that's, that's love though, man. Also, that's, that's what's up. we got the MVP women's shirt coming out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's gonna be black yeah. shirt, black, because I like that black color. I don't know why I do. I like black, but then <laughs> the logo is gonna be in this like glittery pink. It's like it's like yeah. it's, it's smooth. Like the the logo See, that, is gonna be dope. That worked out though. You know what I'm saying? October, you know what I'm saying? Awareness. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Man. October, October. Now nah, that's yeah. uh, that's uh, breast cancer month. Breast I, cancer I know, awareness. I, brother, I know so this. You think you, you think we don't? You think I, we don't I, mean, know? I, you think I don't when I do? We just, we just you, maybe you think we, maybe you think our, some of our listeners may not. Okay. Know that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know? Shout okay. out to the titties. Okay. We love the titties over here at the MVP. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. So, but definitely, I got, yeah. those, got those booming. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, check out our Facebook. Check out our Instagram. Check out our Twitter. Check out our YouTube page. Definitely that YouTube page. Subscribe on YouTube because that's where we hitting them hard at. Uh, Cody coming down here on Thanksgiving. We planning for that episode. Guess what? We're going to have another couple's therapy when he gets down here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We got it. We got it. Christmas. I got my mother-in-law coming down here, my father-in-law coming down. Guess who we going to have on the MVP um, talking about marriages and stuff like that? We're going to have them talking about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk mm-hmm. to Pops. You know what I'm saying? Pops like this. Pops um, watched that Nelly video, trip Tip Drill, back in the day. And, <laughs> and, and Pops used to always tell me he liked to slide the card. You know what I'm saying? So we going to talk about that, too. Yeah, Shout it out. I don't know if I want. I don't know. I don't know if I want to hear my godmom talking about giving the, giving the credit card and slid down. Maybe, no, maybe not mind. sliding yeah, the card yeah. on your godmother. Yeah. It don't matter, man. We gonna hear. We gonna hear the OG talk about sliding the credit card. That's what we gonna do. You okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you go. You go hit. You know what I'm saying? So hey, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. uh, anyway, my bad, my bad. Um, uh, but yeah, that that's. I've been doing all this stuff, getting this. You got a lot of stuff lined ready. up. A lot of stuff lined up, getting a lot of stuff in order. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Make sure we make sure we run it good out here. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I got a couple things for you. Uh, a couple topics. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start a little heavy and in light like we normally do, um, because I mean just because that's what we do. I like to end the 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 show light. I don't want to be all heavy when we get off and be upset and mad. So we're going to start it off a little, what you call it? 
But the first thing we want to talk about is Yellow Beezy. I don't know if you heard, but Yellow Beezy got shot up, shot eight times the other day. Mm. Um, they said it was in retaliation for um, the comedian. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's what they said. I'm, I got to say what the streets are talking about. I don't want to. I don't want to put what 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 people saying, man. I don't, I don't want to see mm, that okay. type of podcast, okay. man. Well, all I'm don't... saying is it's in retaliation. But okay, but this is the question. I'm like, when when do we got to come together and, and tell these people that's trying to make it out that hey, maybe you don't need to come back to Oak Cliff. Maybe you need to mm. you need to start. You need to build where you at. You doing this so you can get out the hood, not so you can keep on yeah. coming back. You can come back and yeah. visit every now and then, but you shouldn't be in the hood all times of the night and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just kind of want to know what y'all feelings is. If you get successful, I mean, of course you get well, successful and you, you don't want to just totally leave. You want to still come back and do certain things for your community and everything else like that. But uh, what do you feel daytime, like? The, what do you feel like? Let me jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go ahead. Like, yeah, during, during, yeah, let me let me jump in there, man. When you, you feel like you want to get back, yeah, you can get back. This happened at 3 something in the morning. Am I, am I, am I correct? That's what I heard. This oh, early, this, ain't, early this, ain't no, this ain't no time. This ain't no time frame of you giving back. So, and this mm. wasn't necessarily in the hood. This, he was actually on the highway, mm. if I'm not mistaken. He was one of the spur, on one of the spurs, and Dang. so it, it was. It was just unfortunate altogether how it yeah. happened. Um, it's a lot of speculation and stuff like that going on. That is what that is, but. I think it's crucial that a lot of people listen. Even Boosie said that he wasn't the first, and he's not going to be the last to say, you know, you, you got to get out of your city whenever you start popping. Mm. Because you got people that might have been secretly hating on you in sixth grade because you got that one girl that they wanted and you couldn't get, and now you actually popping, popping, you on the chart. Mm. Oh, yeah, that dude, that dude, that dude hating, hating. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that yeah. dude coming at you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get out of that and the only time you come back is when you're trying to do something positive for the community which is done during daylight hours you see what mm-hmm. i'm saying that's that's the only time you come back you don't try to just claim that you i mean i know a lot of people like to be like i'm still in the hood i'm still at such and such pull up on me i'm here you'll, you'll see me here to show how quote unquote real they are but you ain't got nothing to prove, bro. Like if you really, if you really yeah, from no. certain areas, and if you really, if you really were a part of uh, that area and growing up in that area, you don't have to prove it to nobody because nobody will understand it except for the people that were there and saw you there. Everybody else is just taking the word for it. So who are you prove us up to? Nobody. Like you're trying to. You, it's like a. Um, I don't know. It's something to where it, psychologically. You're trying to prove to yourself that you're still them, but you got money now, and it's like, no, you're not them. You're 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 removed from the struggle, um, whether it's just one part removed, or you know what I'm saying. You're removed from the struggles. You have a certain amount of money. You don't have mm-hmm. to go back to that struggle. You need to act that way. And when I say yep. act that way, you can't just be hanging out in areas because you know certain areas that you used to hang in were areas that people used to get got in. Man, you, right? you know, they don't want that stigma, of, man. That nigga didn't change. That, that no. Yeah. And see, I, man, I, I, I've, I've received that. I know a lot of people receive that. You didn't change. It's like, yeah, haven't you? Uh, like, if you don't <laughs> think, uh, I, can, yeah, I can't remember. Shouldn't exactly. you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shouldn't you? Know, shouldn't you? You'll help, you help, you help, you help me better with the quote, because I've been drinking a little bit, so I can't <laughs> tell you the exact quote. <laughs> but it's something It's something to the effect of uh, you... you have uh, you haven't changed within however many years? Uh, you've wasted that many years by not changing because you're the same person that you were before. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't think that was. It, it, it's oh, shout like out to that. that shout it, out to that quote. That was an MVP quote. You know what I'm saying? Just go and make up your own shit. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But we understand yeah, where yeah, you're yeah. coming from. Put it like yeah. that. I made that. Up. You know that came from me. That came <laughs> right. from me. You know what I'm saying? If, you think, if, you, if you think in the same way that you were when you were 18 and now you're 28. And thinking the same way, you don't waste the ten years of your life. I feel you on mm-hmm. that. 
But uh, that ain't mine, though, man. I, it, I can't it, take that. It was, I, I, it was I understand. The way you worded it, it is yours. Elaborate. The way you worded it is yours. Yeah. But I, I know what I know what you're talking about. I know the one you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, and that's real, though. And that's real. Because yeah, you should change. You should constantly be trying to be a better person today than you were yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I, I, so, I, I don't want to use the word that, change, though. Use the word evolve. You should evolve into a better evolve, person. Or grow. Evolve. Is grow is a good, grow, grow is a good word. Is, yeah, stuff know, like that. It's all growth. You know, at the end of the day. You know? but, but you got to understand, yeah. he just got out, though. He just, yeah, I mean, I know. it's on me. Exactly. Just just started blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he, he yeah. ain't that far removed still from, from what he started at, where he started. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it ain't like he been it ain't like he been famous for five years now. He's still coming back to the hood every day. This nigga just literally, just, that's on me, just got popping this summer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that went number one, though. You know how famous that makes you? Man, but yeah. it, if you're in your own you bubble, though, the chart. Uh-huh. if you just hit the chart, I see that. But you were number one for however many weeks. You were but number whole, one. That's a, a big deal. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah, and I don't know exactly how many weeks. I don't know. I don't think it was the whole summer. I think you were popping the whole summer. Yeah. But being number one was for a certain amount of weeks. Yeah, he was getting it. And he got... <clears throat> Yeah, he, I think he got dethroned by um by Lil Duval with his. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm living my best hey, life. To... Boy, that, yeah, I, I was a little yeah. flat on he the got, last end got... of that life, but it's cool. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's that's on. <laughs> that's on there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's, it's just you have to realize. Well, no, you have to have people around you. Let me put it to that. You have to have people around you that will make a decision, not necessarily make a decision for you, but let you know. What's going on? Because mm-hmm. Franz, you pop it. You uh, you come out with a soul song. Like it might be some song called like "Screams Fall" back in '03. See, you talking about dropping screens and everything like that. And you know, mm-hmm. coincidentally, we had a song that was called "Screams Fall." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, just, it just it didn't it didn't blow up the way oh, it was. Man. I never I never, never to told I done. never told the podcast man why we named that one episode the Deuces man. I never, I never, I, I never yeah, I told him that. Go back with your musical career, man. Yo, yo, shout out to Yellow Beezy, man. Just hey, don't go back in the hood, but this is more important. Um, yeah. Basically, me and, <laughs> me and Cody back in the day, we used to be a rap group. We used to call ourselves the Deuces. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was a double entendre. It was a double entendre. You know what I'm saying? It was two of us, Deuce. You know what I'm saying? And then we shitting on the game. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> Deuces, the wackest group ever. <laughs> yeah, we was ahead of our time. Yeah, man, like, we was, but, man. I remember, I remember, I remember know, one man. of my things, man. Don't hold this against me, man. This is some of the worst rap lyrics ever. I said, I, I, I fuck hoes, I fuck dykes, nigga. That's my profession. I get your holders on my dick. I just want perfection. I'll get mad. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was trash. Hey, <laughs> man. Hey. We was lit, though. We was lit. Oh, screen like, when we had screens, like, we were talking about screens. And then it, screens was falling. You know what I'm talking about? Like, we was, <laughs> we didn't have it in our in our, in our wheels. The screens was falling <laughs> on our imagination. And they would have been falling in the video, too. But hey. I don't know. Was it a couple of months after that to where, was it Twitch House or something? They put out a, a song that was just like that. Yeah. And it popped. It popped. Yeah. I'm like, bro, they listening to us. It takes nothing. <laughs> hey, I'm out of shit. We only, like, only had four, gotta... four songs. And then it was supposed to yeah. be like it was supposed to be like a, a quick go through and then we listened to it and we would go in the stu- we was gonna go in the studio and actually lay it. And then we were just listening to it. Cody passing it all around the school. I'm like, nigga, this ain't even this ain't even <laughs> how you gonna pass this around and I'm sounding the trash. Hey. But they, they were saying hey, I sounded man. like BG on that thing, so you don't say shout out to me, you know what I'm saying? They said the boy <laughs> sounded like BG, so hey, it is what it is. <laughs> nah, it was what it was, man. It definitely, uh, it definitely was what it was, man. But uh, that's funny. Yeah, man. I, never, yeah, revisit, yeah, man. yeah never, never revisit that time again. I found my old rap book and I said, "Boy, these verses is trash." Mm. I didn't even know how to count a sixteen. I had like fifty twos on the. Hmm? You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember? You remember we did a track with uh. Who was um? Uh, you talking about at, at Rod, Rod, Jones, Rod, Jones Rod Jones' house with Ray? He said, "I got more water than the Navy." That's why the boy ain't still saying that. Nah, yeah. nah, uh, nah. Yeah, Ray, Eric yeah, and Ray, Eric and Ray. He's, he, this is rap now. Uh, Eric and Ray. He said, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah." He said, "Boy, he said, I got more water than the Navy." And that boy Adrian still, uh, boy, he still be going off on that one. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, I said, I remember, I remember that part. I said, swinging and swerving, all up on the curb and 
twenty fours on my feet. That's, that's just my, my suburban. suburban. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That was trash. <laughs> 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 hey man, I was dro- I was dropping the bars, man. I don't care what nobody oh, said. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody hey, listening. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna find that joint, man. I'm gonna start one of the podcasts with that joint. You know what I'm saying? Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I got way, I got way better, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I got, I got some other, I got other material besides <laughs> that. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't well, don't break that. We had, we no, great. We uh, had a song called "That's Fit." That's fair, nigga. Yeah. That's fair, yeah. nigga. That's fair, my nigga. Hey, yo, that go fair, nigga. That's fair, nigga. Bro, I got to do, do a beat. I got to do a beat <laughs> with a guy in Georgia about, you know, uh, saying that's fair. Uh, because yeah. he, he said that I was I was the police because I said that. Oh, oh wow. And I was like, bro, yeah. but He was he, ahead you know, of our time, man. Because we said. We, I, we, I know. I, yeah. Cause, I, I know. I know. Time, I just, I say, when I say we were ahead of our time, I really mean that. I ain't saying we were talented enough to bring the juice <laughs> to be the Migos. We weren't the Migos. You know, some of us. <laughs> we were ahead of our time, yeah, but like man. the stuff that we said, like it got taken, man. Yeah, and, man. Yeah. I think they heard us, and man, the and they just want they want yeah. to ride with our shit, man. But that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. It's cool to you. It ain't cool to me, man. They need to give up. They need to, they need to pay homage, man. Nah, don't pay, they need to don't pay, pay homage. homage. Don't pay homage to me. I don't want that shit coming back up. Some of that shit I was saying was too stupid. <laughs> no, nah, because you was rapping the way you talk, bro. Like, you really wasn't trying to do no rap voice or nothing. Like, you was just Because we, we said, because the plan was, we said, okay, Rod Jones got some equipment. Okay, we go over there. We just going to lay it down like... It kind of like in the cadence, but just so we can hear the words and get it all the way down, and then we was gonna go back in the studio, and so we ain't wasting time. We had a whole plan, so we so we ain't gonna waste time in the studio. We could just knock it out one take because we've been listening to it and all that. That's what we were supposed to do. Cody was all yeah. in at him. You know what I'm saying? He getting it. I'm just reading off a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like kind of in the cadence and all that. I'm just kind of reading like blah 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 blah. blah. And then you know what I'm saying? So with Cody well, going, Cody, out, his lyrics, yeah, remember. Cody going yeah. all out, man. One take Johnny yeah. over there. You know what I'm saying? And, and got yeah, me man. looking bad when he take the shit to school. I'm like, hold up, bro. You you didn't get this approved. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> ain't nobody approved this. You know what I'm saying? So I was about to put, you know what I'm saying, about to put them people on them. But you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we uh, ain't go too far. So I was like, I'm going to leave. Nah, we did. But I literally, I, I literally almost got signed by Trill E&T back in 2007. Because, you know, I went off to school. I was still on the rapid joint. And so I, I, clicked, I clicked up. I clicked up with a couple of guys that was rapping out that way. And so we made a little group and everything. <laughs> I did a solo album. Cody's going to be on the Laugh Attack call. remix. You I, know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you said what? He's going to be on the Laugh Attack remix. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It was written my album. I don't know if you remember that album. It was, uh, was, it? It was called The Entry. So it was like The Entry into the Game or whatever. So I had like, I think it was like 16 songs. I got a couple of partners that still have it, but they don't want to record it and give it to me. I don't know why I can't get it. <laughs> Y'all need to send it to me and stop playing around because I ain't going to sell it. I just want to have it for myself. But mm-hmm. anyway... When I did that, I had got a call for Trilly and T. It was a cat. It was a cat named uh, Lil B. Lil B had called me, and Pimp, Pimp was in jail. This was like '07, mm-hmm. and um, Lil B had called me. I don't know who what Lil B it was or whatever, but they were talking about um, they had heard they had heard my little mixtape or whatever, and they wanted to sign me. And so I'm mm-hmm. hyped. You know what I'm saying? So I was waiting for the next call. I never got the next call though. <laughs> so somebody, somebody else listened to that thing. It was like you. You gonna sign who? That nigga tried. <laughs> it could have been that. It could have been that. It could have been that. It, uh, it definitely could have been that. But, but yeah, man, I, I was close, man. I like, but I told Jazz, and I said, boy, if I was a rap star, ooh, yeah. woo, ooh, woo. Greg was jealous, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Greg, Greg was jealous. Right, my, my bad, Greg. We we get back to Yellow Beezy, man. You got something to say? You want to say about that, man? We we went off on a time about the deuce, man. Just, just, um. You just gotta know who you hanging around with, man. Like I feel like if the people we hanging around with, even though he's made it or you know on the charts and stuff, he needs somebody. He needs some good people in his ear, and telling them to how to move. You know what I'm saying? Or, or at least what not, not to necessarily, move. necessarily, you know, not necessarily, so. not necessarily tell them how to move. Yes, I like the mm-hmm. last statement. Tell them how not to move. Yes, yeah, sure. Tell them uh-huh. how not to move and let him decide how to move. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, man. So I mean, that's. That's my only thing, man. I mean, and I, to piggyback on what Cody said too, I think it's a lot of it is psychological. You know what I'm saying? Where you don't want to be 
you know, too removed from from the hood or where she grew up from. But, you know, I was just saying, like, you need to grow. Like, that's a part of being, you know, a human. You grow. You shouldn't be the same you were yesterday. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't. I mean, it doesn't happen like that all the time, but you should ultimately have that goal, you know what I'm saying, in your heart. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. hopefully, you know, you move in every aspect of life to grow, you know, financially, emotionally, you know what I'm saying? If, if it's for you spiritually as well. But, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, he, he just needs some people to tell him, you know, where not to move. So, yeah. And see, and see, I, I also believe that, you know, with, with having that, uh, those group of people around you, mm-hmm. um, you realize how far you removed. Like just, just for Absolutely. an example, uh, just for an example, like, you know, people like say LeBron, yeah. you might yep. feel a certain way about, <clears throat> you know, how he grew up, you know, growing up in the hood, you know, hood, the hood in Akron and stuff like that. Right. But you can't speak for Akron because you're decades removed from what they're dealing with right now. You know what I'm saying? So you don't, mm-hmm. you might know what they're dealing with right now, but you can't see firsthand yeah, on what they're dealing with right now. Right yeah. now. Right? Mm-hmm. So no, I agree. Uh, I, I, I think I think it's us as being old. We yeah. need to we can we can say how we feel, but we actually Absolutely. need to give the microphone to people that are living it right now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. be involved in those people's lives to where they know how to articulate their struggle. Their their struggle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, so I not necessarily you. Yeah, yeah, that is, and I, I feel like that a hundred percent because we yeah. won't know their struggle until until they have a spokesperson. Every every generation has had a spokesperson, mm-hmm. and so that spokesperson will get you further than just anybody just saying anything. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. anybody can just guess. Okay, you're a you're you're, you're in a hood. Uh, right. You're in a certain situation. It must be this. It must be that. No, this hood might not be dealing with the same thing or the same difficulty as this other hood, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't yeah. know until you're dealing with somebody that's actually there day in and day and night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't nah, know I agree. what's going on. I agree. No, nah, I agree with you. But to add to it, two things, I, you know, about LeBron, not too much, but, you know, like, like you were saying, like, he's not there now. He's, he's far moved, removed from that, from Akron, you know, where he grew up. But at the same time, I think that's the reason why he still has roots there either be a foundation or, you know, recently school and stuff like that because mm-hmm. he knows where he comes from. You know what I'm saying? But he knows where he's at so now. So what y'all talking about? Where is he at now, though? What, y- what y'all talking about like he ain't there? Where he at now? I mean, I'm just saying. He, he stays in California. We, we're not talking about... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder but, why um, he stays out in California. He's a Laker. Of course it's yeah, better. Yeah. Shout yeah, out, absolutely, Kobe. I mean, shout out Kobe. Shout out LeBron. There we shout go. Shout out to Kobe. Shout out. Shout out to the mama. Shout out to Magic. Okay. So well, I, I think we flushed that out, man. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure, <laughs> y'all. When y'all when y'all get um uh, when y'all get popping, hey, it's no. It, it don't feel bad to move out of your environment, or you can do like Ti is doing in certain areas. He's he's like trying to like buy the hood up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. They come back no, and buy the hood. No, up. no. No, 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 no. Mike, See, I, they do the same thing. Started out, he, he started out buying out the hood. Mm-hmm. Then he started losing money because he sold some it right those. back to people that was in the hood. Yeah, yeah the but, 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 but he's yeah, doing something else right. like that now, though. He's, he's doing something. Buying, he, buying back. Go ahead. And I'm sorry, but he he doing something else similar. He's not doing the exact same thing, but he's doing something similar in the way that he's not going to be losing as much money. It's some kind of. <laughs> You, you did you see it on the interview he had? Um, nah, I, never, but I think yeah, it was with uh, Big Boy or the break or the Breakfast Club. It was one of them I think that he was talking I think about. It was Breakfast Club. And he, yeah. he was talking about he in real estate and stuff like that. He he doing mm-hmm. that again. And he did talk I mean, about how he was at first he was flipping them houses, and taking them from which one call yeah. it, giving them just That's giving them to people, um, let them live in it, and then it was becoming trap houses again, just nice ass trap houses. I, mean, so, but I understand. If we're talking about that, we need to shout out. You know what I'm saying? Trey, slim thug. Too. You got they slim thug, thug for sure. Man. For sure, slim thug. Yeah, he man. do it. I mean, you got it for real. You got to yeah, shout I mean, him out. He, he got his construction company. And mm-hmm. I mean, I know Cody. Know you know what I'm saying? Then Trey with all his you know relief game stuff. And, mm-hmm. I mean, that boy be everywhere, man. Nah, Trey, Trey, Trey does his. Trey definitely does his thing, man. Yeah, he's, man. He's so underrated because mm-hmm. the things he does, 
necessarily makes um, the news, but, but that's how he like it, though. He ain't, he don't oh, move like right, that, man. Right. But see, right. I don't that's move right. like that. But see, that's why I like. Right. He, he a genuine. He's such and a genuine I'm, person. He got genuine relationships. So yeah, like sure. the Breakfast yeah. Club, he skips. He skipped the local Houston or whatever. I mean, Houston mm-hmm. be showing him love every now and then. Not the radio station now and then. But the, well, the news been showing love. Yeah, they, they, they do them. They yeah, do them wrong. Doing the radio much. station does them wrong. Yeah. They, they banned him back in, what, 2010 or something yeah. like that? Yeah, it's been a minute now. I like, yeah, I like how Charlamagne yeah. be talking but, junk. I but, mean, he be champion Trey a lot. I like that. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he does way more. <clears throat> he does way more than a lot of people, man. Like, he does. He is really out there, especially whenever, um, whenever we got hit with that hurricane, bro. Harvey mm-hmm. devastated. All type, all types of walks of life. So you yeah. can be in a rich area, and you Absolutely. still got affection. He yeah. was helping everybody, but he, you know he focused on helping people that didn't have money to be able to get out of the situation. They might not have had insurance, like mm-hmm. he helped them. You know what I'm saying? And so it, our our radio station, ninety seven nine, didn't want to uh, publicize it. You know, he even had Beyonce uh, come out. Beyonce came yeah, back. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, they, they, he cropped it. Was, he yeah, cropped him out the video. I saw that. That's messed up. Yeah. He's standing yeah. right next to her. They got they got the video up off of him. That's what mm-hmm. he yeah. did. Yeah. She was at Frenchie's because she knew it. She know what he's doing. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, man. come out the show, like, whatever the mess was with 97.9, like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to cuss like that, but I don't, I don't fool with 97.9 mm-hmm. like that. Well, like, I, 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 I really don't. Mm-hmm. I really don't because... Whatever happened, they're part of a, a bigger network. Mm-hmm. I'll say that, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. that is what that is. And so that that's how the, okay. that's how the that's how the band uh, became a thing. Uh-huh. And yeah, he he does way too much for you to try to ban during a a, a crisis. Mm-hmm. A crisis, you 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 really want to limit a person based off of a beef that somebody that doesn't even work with the radio, this radio uh, company, like this person that he had a beef with, she doesn't even work here in Houston anymore. She's in Cali. Uh, or she was in Cali. Yeah. I, last time I checked, she was in Cali. Mm-hmm. And so you're still holding that down because I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. it might be. Is that, is that what I think it is with, um, that she married the, 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 the Mate? Nah, no, I'm not gonna say no. Yeah, that's a girl named Mate. No, uh, a lady, a lady named Mate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, he said, he said, he said some stuff in his verse, and they didn't appreciate it, and yeah, man, it's going down like that. Mm. So, man, shout out to Trey the Truth. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Let, man. Let's go ahead and move on. Huh? Huh? On to the next one, man. I got, I got two things, man. I can go a little political. Or I could go um, keep it light. We could stay light because that was I mean, Yellow BZ was serious, but we kind of still kept it light at the same time. So you want to keep it light the whole episode, man? What's up? Mm, how you feel, G? Yeah, we can, man. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know. Keep it light. We're, keep we're, it light. This first, this first time back, we don't need to hit it with nothing serious, man. You know what I'm talking Not about? Too much. Um, Not too much. But we had, we had a reoccurrence since we've been off, man. Drake went on the shot with LeBron. Um, and, and Drake pretty much recapped or recanted his side of what he what he figured happened. And then um, I don't know if you guys listen to Joe Button podcast, but literally uh-huh. um, two days ago, he sat down with Pusha T. Today on YouTube, uh-huh. he posted it. Um, the interview with Pusha T. And Pusha T gave his side of what happened from his perspective. Um, yeah. Basically, Drake said. He went down there. He was told, come on. He talked to Kanye, and Kanye said he wanted to be involved in this project. He told him to come down to Wyoming. He was going to write for him. So he got down there, and basically um, they was everything they were doing, he, he said he needed to know everything about him so he could get the tracks right. Drake's told him about his dog, I mean, about his um, his child that he had, showed pictures, and um, even heard the song that he had about his son and everything like that. And then he proceeded to... Kanye said, that's fine. And then they started working on Kanye music. He said, my understanding was we coming down there to work on my stuff. So he said, forget it, whatever. He did his little thing, was writing. He said, okay, we didn't get to none of his stuff. So Drake left, but he said he left with that song, um, Lose Yourself. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it's Poopity Scoop. That's the song. (laughs) 
<laughs> that was before Poopy the Scoop was on there. He gave Drake just the instrumental. So Drake said, mm. okay, we ain't do nothing for my album, but at least I got this dope beat. I could write something to it, and I'll put it on the album. Then he said once he got back to the house, the next day he heard Poopity Scoop came out. Kanye dropped Poopity Scoop. So he's like, you gave me this beat, and then you broke Poopity Scoop on it. Now it's I can't use this. And then Pusha T album come out a couple, I mean, a week or so later, and he got a yeah. Drake, he got a Drake diss that on a on the on the Kanye ver- I mean on Kanye track. So of course, in Drake's mind, he figured that he did all this stuff against him. We fast forward to two days ago. Pusha T gets on on the air with Joe Button and says, "I didn't get none of this information from Kanye." He uh, honestly, if you listen to the interview, Pusha kind of seemed like he don't he don't get backing like he should from Kanye to a certain extent. Nah, and exactly. and he he, <laughs> he feels like he don't know what kind of thing him and Drake got going on, but it's not. Uh, he, he don't seem like he said they don't seem like it's real. And, and he said he can understand. A fake, a fake romance. Yeah, exactly. Fake romance. Exactly. He said he can understand why in Drake's mind he could piece them pe- puzzle pieces together and feel that way he felt. He he don't blame him mm-hmm. for that. Uh, but he, he basically came down to 40, had an old girl that he was getting at, and he was uh, uh, he was getting that booty, and he was pillow. He's loose, he loose lipping. He, loose yeah, he, lipping. He, he loose, talking to loose lipping. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When, when, when he got with a loose booty girl, and he became loose lipped. And them loose sheets, you know what I'm talking about. So that's what happened. So I, I just want to get to how how you guys feel about that. I listened to that whole interview. It was three hours interview with um, Push the T and Joe Bud. It was great. It didn't even feel like three hours listening to it. I had I enjoyed it thoroughly. Enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so, I gotta listen to so I've definitely seen a clip of it. I ain't seen all. Watch the whole thing. Watch, watch it while you're doing oh, you doing something. Know. Yeah, because it, it's you not. It, it's a good. It's a good episode, and I understand where I understand where both of them coming from. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's good. Yeah. But I. I, I well, we we're not gonna talk about the Trump Cup one. I'm not for not even that. The 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 uh, the ultimate. You know, I guess bully move that is ended the beef as well. I mean, you talking about both sides, but you ain't talking about. You know, who won Houston? You know what I'm saying, Jay Prince. But see, I'm just staying off of the two interviews. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, okay. he didn't. Pusha didn't really do that. That's the only thing that Joe Button podcast that I wish he would have said something about. Is because nah, he's not going to. He didn't. He didn't. I feel about Pusha, but but see, nah. Pusha Pusha referenced Jay Prince, but yeah, he, he, he didn't did. reference him to the effect that I wanted him to because if, if you don't know, Pusha T canceled his concerts for Texas. He canceled. He's not oh, coming to Texas. I, yeah. So I won't see him. I have to go back to Virginia. Exactly. So, yeah, my thing is, my thing is, he, he was kind of talking big on Joe Budden, yeah, but hey, yeah, you, nah, you you canceled nah. Texas. You didn't come to Texas. That's a lot of money in Texas. Yeah. So right. what it what it what it is? But yeah. I want I want to stick strict strictly to the beef portion of it. Do, do you believe yeah. that somebody was lying, or do you believe? I, to me personally, I believe they both was right. Because I believe that's like how he said they both can feel the way they feel, but yeah. I, I mean, I guess how, how you feel about the whole situation? Are you are you are you are you over it, or are you like niggas ain't I mean, rapping no more? How, think, you, how you feel? Yeah, well, let me let me handle this one, Cody, since I'm I'm biased to push the T anyway. But I'm I'm gonna give an unbiased, you know what I'm saying? But um, just start off with you know what I'm saying, just with Drake, because I like Drake a whole lot. I really do. Um, he will be be talking down but he, he runs the game, you know what I'm saying, besides Kendrick and Cole to me mm-hmm. and a couple of them. But anyway, um but no I mean I, I think he he is right on his perspective of it, you know, but at the same time that's his that's his perception. What what I really hope I think it was a time in hip hop just like the whole Meek and Drake thing and we know Drake won and, you know, we we kinda know I mean Drake even said it, you know what I'm saying? Like it was the ultimate chess move, you know, he may not feel his lyrics was the best, but at that time to put out the picture that Pusha T did and then the the song as well with the information, that's I mean, in, in just hip hop form, that's yeah, you get five stars. But I mean, after that, like it is what it is. Like, I think people have moved on. People know, you know, it was a time. It helped push her for that period of time, you know, to help his album or whatever seven song thing he had with Kanye. But it's done with now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Drake is still Drake. Pusha T is a person now that's famous for dissing, dissing Drake. And I hate that it came to that. But 
because I like, you know, I like both of them, but, you know, I think it's just a moment in time, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, it is what it is. I don't think, you know, people are really paying attention to it like that no more. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. How you feel about it, Cody? He must have wanted to go do something. He ain't say nothing. He just don't dip out. He figured he had some time. My th- my biggest thing is uh yeah uh with this with this whole beef. I'm, I'm kind of. I mean, I understand why it came out and why it's like that. I mean, you sit down with LeBron and LeBron mm-hmm. asks you a question. I'm gonna answer the yeah. question. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just just off the string. I mean, right. I'm sitting I'm sitting down with LeBron. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. As opposed to how they how he was talking that that was it seemed like they closer. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, close. Exactly. They talk to each other like that. So of course he feel yeah. like he was in a yeah. safe space to say how he felt. And they cleared everybody out. There, you know exactly. They cleared everybody out. Free. It was just them two. Yeah. And then they knew. And, That's what's up. And I like what I like what Maul or where Joe Button was saying. He was like, because mm-hmm. um, Pusha T said, "Why you wait till now to say?" It? He was like, "Well, you know how TV works. You don't know when they recorded this." You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You don't know. They, they could have recorded That's this true, like a, a week or two after the yeah. beef was calmed down, and you don't know That's that. They just putting true. it out now. You don't know when they yeah. recorded it. So, yeah. I mean. You're right. You're right. It's true. And, and That's the point they said. Yeah. yeah. So, I kind of, I, I kind of, I, I respect both parties. I don't, I don't feel yeah, no I'm type sure of way not. about either one yeah. of them. Um, yeah. It, it was, I it was beef. Mess, I just don't want to push the mess with Jay Prince. Because, I, I mean, I, it, it it's not even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't want that. I don't. Mm. And then, you know, I think what he said the other day, or he talking about uh, he was squashing like an ant or something, he said. I said, what? Who said that? Man, Jay Clay said that. He said he'll squash uh, Pusha T? Pusha T like an ant. He said the beef is over. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I saw it on, on Hot New Hip Hop. Shout out to him. That's where I'm being. Mm-hmm. Seeing a lot of my stuff, but yeah, but it was on there. I don't know if it was on what's the one in LA? Is it the cruise show? Oh, yeah, the cruise show. Yeah, I, I think he was on the cruise show or something. Yeah, he but, was um, on the cruise show. I didn't I didn't listen to it yet, but yeah, he was yeah, definitely on I there. think maybe that's where because that's how I had like a mm-hmm. little still shot of him or whatever. So, okay, but yeah, it's, that's what he was saying. I'm like, man, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, just, I guess. just go ahead and, and move on, man. Cody, so, you back yet, man? Yeah. You got your opinion, man, on, on the topic at hand. <laughs> you just dipped out and ain't tell uh, nobody you was gone, you heard me? Nah, my bad. Um <laughs> uh, what are we are we discussing Jay Prince and um Pussy T and Drake? I mean like the, not really Jay Prince, but just pushing Drake. Just, we just nah, like, how, how, Prince, how you feel I after after Prince. hearing everything, the interviews, hearing all of what Push had to say, what Drake had to say. How do you feel about this beef going on? And wait, wow. that was going on. How do you feel about it? And all that kind of stuff. Because I, I was saying, like, I, I, well, I, I meant to say. No, I heard what you said. I heard, I, well, I heard what you said. What, what did you mean to say? Okay, I, I, I didn't like how when on the Joe Button podcast, I wanted to re- mm. put this in there. Pusha T could not give a straight answer about where the beef started. Mm. And he 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 allude he he alluded he was like well maybe he was shooting over here and he said you know when somebody's shooting over there that's a little bit too close huh? if I'm standing close so I'm going back at you because mm-hmm. you, you could have hit me mm-hmm. with that so I'm like it was kind of like I okay think it was from Wayne man I it was it, 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 I think that's what it was from and I think I think you know Drake did it the same thing Wayne, I, I think man. Drake sent a shout out to them because. They were sending Absolutely. shots out to their boys, so he did it back yeah. and all that. The yeah. same thing. But I'm so like, same thing. My same thing, thing is, how, why yeah. take? I, I don't. I guess I don't get why you still fighting over something, or not, not, not necessarily fighting, but beefing mm-hmm. over something that you can't even tell the origin of. It just seems a little. No, I see. I, you know what? It, and I hate to say this, Lord, Lord, because I love Bush T, but mm-hmm. I, it's just he's he's in that point of his career. Where he has to stay relevant, so I don't think he got too great. He had them shoes no, that came no, no. out, listen, them um, fish scales. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not talking about relevant like outside of rap. Huh? I'm talking mm-hmm. about from a rap standpoint. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like okay, so what do you do when you're, you know, what I'm saying when you're when somebody's at the top of rap, which Drake has been for a long time, people gonna come at him. Because remember, a lot of people forget Common came at Drake. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For Drake's little verse or whatever. Common had a song, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, he used to tell me that. So, I mean, it happened. But what's crazy is the other day I was listening to that Light Up song on Drake's first album. And, like, I promise y'all, y'all need to listen to it after this. But it was it was crazy because Jay-Z was talking about, in his verse, how when you're at the top, people going to come at you. You know what I'm saying? And yada, yada. And it, it was like eerie to like how Pusha T's really been coming at Drake and Drake is kind of saying some similar stuff to like how you know like I think the pillow talk you know like in, in about 40 like I listened to another day I was like what mm-hmm. I'm like nah man so I, I had to play it again I was like yeah so but I don't know okay yeah, yeah. y'all listen to that song tell me you need to be like yeah like that's real so mm-hmm. Go ahead, Cole. You got I, 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 I feel, I feel Drake is playing the smarter role by not going back at him for sure. Um, Absolutely. Him being on, him being on, uh, you know, the show and having it, you know, done the way it was. That is him putting closure to the situation because mm-hmm. it, it wasn't any closure on his side. Like the closure yeah. was. Drake did what I mean not Drake uh, Pusher did what he did and then Drake just kind of sat back this mm-hmm. was like kind of closure from like the Drake side mm-hmm. but from Pusher T's side he's claiming the beef stems back to way back to like the Mr. Me Too joint mm-hmm. you know what I'm talking about like mm-hmm. back then like before like he's making it seem like it's deeper than it being a Drake beef he's, he's Making mm. it a beef with the, with the entire company, you know. I'm talking about like with mm. Cash Money and Yo, Young, Young Money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They might, yeah. 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 See, my yeah. thing is they they not even they don't even stand next to each other like that no more. Who you yeah. talking about? Who you talking about? Drake don't stand next to none of them really like that no more. Nah, he don't. No, I, I understand that, mm. but it started whenever they still were standing by each yeah. other. at that time, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, the slug was getting thrown whenever they were standing side by side. Right, right. So the way it seems like Chris <clears throat> T is, he's one of those guys to where, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. He says he didn't operate off of, he tries not to operate off of, um, you know, stream up, yeah. things like that. But he still subconsciously does in certain yeah. things, things, things that aren't, you know, detrimental to any any side. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. He, he still holds people accountable for certain things that it's mm-hmm. only in the streets and not in the music industry or whatever. And so what I see is him keeping that beef, whether or not you subscribe to being cash money, young money, whatever. Like, you started out, you might have said something crazy about mm-hmm. me or, or about my camp. You know, while you were still down with them, and so that follows you no matter if you set the ties at all. And I think that's mm. the, that that that's uh, the mentality that he's he's keeping. Mm-hmm. Um, I do feel like he won that battle. A lot of people say, well, I ain't gonna say a lot of people. Some people say that Drake won the war, but I don't think it was really mm. a war. Yeah, I, I think yeah. it was. I, it, think I don't it think it was always a war. I think it was just. Um, an issue uh, between two camps that were trying to be hot and they didn't want anybody to be hotter than the other. And I, I keep on referencing it back to that Mr. Me Too because that was a response just to how things were I mean, that was a response to a lot of the you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah. okay. And Wayne because they were talking about wearing vape and all Absolutely. this extra stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, but, yeah, yeah. but, but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, basically, okay. So I like I like where we coming, where y'all coming from with that, man. It just it is what it is. It's kind of over with, but it, it was it was just good for me to hear more insight on how they felt about those different situations and what's going on. So right. we're going to yeah. move on with that. Um, where am I, Ross? At huh? Huh? There we go. There we go. Ross, Ross sound crispy now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, that's man. Ross on that 400, almost 500 MVPS. Yeah, uh, still my, man. Ross, Ross, Ross coming in crispy. Blazing <laughs> speeds. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, also, I don't know if we uh, talked about this or not, man, and it might have slipped because we wasn't on last week. Um, I don't know if we talked about this, but uh, we do have a vice president on the line. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we talked about this or not, 
But I want to make sure um, my boy get his due, man. Shout out to Cody. <laughs> he is the vice president. We talked about it the last episode. Yeah. I told you Cody was trying to take over. And guess what? He couldn't be the president, so he became the vice president. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So clap it up for that. You know what I'm saying? Man. Well, make sure I put, bring it out there. You, you got anything you want to tell the people, the vice president? <laughs> <laughs> got anything you want to tell nah. them? Nah, I, I appreciate that, man. I just, man, you know how much I care about our people, man, about mentoring and everything, man. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm I'm trying to do the best we can, man, but it wasn't as strategic as, like, you talking about. Yeah, bro, man, but... you, you, you push your teeth. I saw it. What, what, when, you said, <laughs> when you said you got to vote, you said I got to vote for something. I said, you trying to take over. You was like, ah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't quite that. Yeah, yeah, nigga, vice president. Nah, I, nigga, I know what you trying to do, nigga. About it. Yeah, I know, what you, I know what you're talking about. I, I got you. I That's got you. Right. Nah, I appreciate that, man. I, I really do, man. Um, we're trying to do the best we can, like in Houston, man. And um, we have a couple of chapters, you know, throughout the country and things like that. And some other areas are trying to actually establish their own. Mm. And um, this stems from the 100 Black Men and all of that. But um, yeah, man, trying to uplift the the community. Um, just trying real. to do my part, man. Be the be the be the change that we want to see in the world. We so, say that all the time, man. I'm, I'm I'm trying to step out there and do it. That's what's happening, That's man. Good, man. That's what's happening. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate that, though. Man. No problem, Appreciate man. That. You know what I'm saying? I know I got to shout the vice president out. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so I got. I'm eight. one of the vice presidents, man. It's, nah, it's, I ain't it's, trying it's to hear that. It's, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to hear. We don't know them. Yeah, though, we don't know them niggas. You know what I'm saying? They don't. Oh, all okay. I know is he, Vice President Cody. Vice President. Yeah, you know like, like yeah, fuck all of them. I'm sorry, but fuck the rest yeah. of them niggas. I don't know them niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Uh, um, so on on the next topic, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to make this the last topic. How y'all want to end this? I could go <laughs> I could go a light one that I, I like. I think it'd be a little interesting. Um, it'd be just, it's, it's rapper talk. You know what I'm saying? It's hip hop talk. Um, or I could go extremely left. Uh, with some shit that uh, the, the boy Chris, shout out to Chris. Chris sent me a wild topic that don't make. Oh, I man, mean, I'm I'm I'm, right. I'm riding quick. I'm riding, I'm riding with Chris, no matter what the the topic or issue. Bro, always riding. Bro, once you hear it, I I don't think you gonna want to ride with Chris, man. I, I put this I'm in my ride. notes. I'm riding with him. I'm riding. You're great. Where where you, you want to go, you, man? You can ask him. I, I'm, man, I'm, I'm saying it's you know decide. You decide. Fact the great. I'm going with the rapper. Way. You going that's with Chris? My, that's my my fairway of love, man. I can I, you know. Okay. Since fifth grade, bro, I gotta go with my boy. Man. Okay, now I, while, while I'm reading this, I'm gonna try to put it in <laughs> the best way possible because some of this stuff is out of order. How he sent it to me and all that it don't even make what, sense. Did he, reading. Did he do it on a piece of paper or something? Nah, he he texted to me. You know what I'm saying? Chris, sometimes oh, okay. if he, I told him if y'all think of something or like any kind of yeah. topic, something, send it to me anytime. But you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chris. We're gonna go with your topic. Now, once y'all hear this, I'm that up. y'all the ones that I'm picked up. this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I gotta ride with Chris. I gotta ride with okay. Chris. Yeah, I, man, you gotta ride with him. I gotta ride. I gotta ride. Okay. I'm in the car. I'm in the car. I okay. might be in the back seat. I might be pissed off. I'm gonna unpack. I'm gonna unpack this a little by little. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fo- follow me now. Army radicals of rapists and murderers have taken over, and are raping women and children, then killing them. <laughs> Stick with me, y'all. Y'all with me? That's what y'all wanted, okay? There's absolutely nothing you can do to stop what's going on because you're outnumbered. You hear me? Army radicals—they rape and murder, and they killing women and children. You got me? You can't do nothing about it, okay? Would you die to protect you and yours, or would, <laughs> or would your loved ones die at the hands so you can spare them from getting raped? By the way, he didn't make this up. It is a topic from his last job when he worked at the clinic. Uh, that's that's what he <laughs> wanted us all to know. So um, y'all picked it. So y'all need to, y'all need me to read that one more time, or y'all? Yeah, let, yeah, let, yeah. Let me <laughs> let me hear that one more time. Nah, 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 the, the, the rapper talk ain't talk, ain't sounding so bad, huh? Um, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I could do that. I just said, wow, he really said this. I was like, I'll put it in here. If we get to it, we get to it. But uh, let, me, let me do it one more time. Army radicals of rapists and murderers have taken over and are raping women and children. Then they kill them. There's absolutely nothing you can do 
to stop them because you're outnumbered? Would you go out there dying trying to protect you and yours? Or would your loved ones just die at the head at your hands? Chris, Chris did way too much with that one. Hey man, no. <laughs> way, hey. He said way, he's, no, this is what he's saying. My bad. I even misread the first time. He said, uh, would you die trying to protect you and yours? Or would you uh would they would your loved ones die at your hands so you can spare them from getting raped? So he said, Are oh, you gonna kill your people? So at least they don't get raped before they get killed. Um, by wow. the way, he didn't make this up. This is a topic from his last job when he worked at the clinic. Or, or, mm-hmm. he, watched, he watched too many <laughs> anime. You know, he, he was, he, it's a lot going on here. Uh, are we going to unpack everything for this? Or are we just gonna man, this is y'all. I, ain't, I don't even want to touch that, man. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say on that. Like, I mean, I, man, uh, go ahead, Cody. I, I, you go ahead. You go ahead. Me? Yeah. Or yeah. oh, you want me to go? I, I mean, yeah. nah, I go, I go, I go. Um, that what y'all I care pick. about everybody. Um, But I have to take care of my family first. But, but see, that's what he's saying. Yeah. He's saying, you gonna, of course, you're taking care of yours. But are you going to go out there bucking at, because of yours? Or are you going to kill your own people? Because you don't want them to get raped, then ultimately killed. I'm not leaving my family side. Yeah, okay. I'm there. I'm there, posted up with my family. Okay. Um, whatever happens outside of that is unfortunate. It is what it is. But I have to take care of my family first. So, so that's, they, that's, they, 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 you in the, you in, you in the, the house or wherever you in, they bust in. You shoot, you shooting, you out. Nah, they got people you outnumbered. They about to take you. They about to take your family, rape your your children and kids. Your woman. I mean, I'm gonna go with my family. If hey, they taking them, I'm gonna, going with you them. Gonna, you gonna get your booty lubed up too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why you put I'm, like, I'm, I'm going. I'm going with my family. I got. I'm you. going with my family. I got. I, I got to do whatever I got to do. I, ain't, so, I, so, I, I will never. I will never leave my family. Yeah, I'll no. The, and, so killing your family to spare raping is out of the question for you. Nah, I'm not killing my family. I guess that's the ultimate question, Greg. Is you killing your family, or you, or so they ain't got to take look, a rape I, and get murdered, or you just gonna let them get murdered by your hand? No, I'm, I'm same like. I mean, I think it's easy. I mean, not like that, but it's anybody that has a family is gonna. You stick with their family, you know. No, like, it, it ain't the sticking with your family. It's like you know, know I, you know, you gonna die and they gonna yeah, die. The only difference fine. is we, all we of all us gonna, gonna die. no, but the the, the, the difference is I'm we all gonna, gonna die. Gonna but are you gonna let them suffer? I guess before they die, man. Yeah, or or is you gonna take them out before they get that that? Nah. I mean, you. Don't, I, I understand where the question come from. It's a little yeah. dark. So, um, guess what, Chris? Um, Chris, you know, yeah, you, he act like. He done, he act like he done oh. been in the military oh. and done did, did some military yeah. time. Like he talk, he talking like he done did some military time. Yeah, that, that's like a huh. Vietnam like huh. Call of Duty yeah. question. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I told you, I told you, y'all wanted to ride with Chris. No, yeah. I get it, I get it, yeah. I get it. I roll with, I roll with him. Okay. And I, I, I stepped. I, when he got to the stoplight, I got out. <laughs> yeah, it, it reminded me of an episode of Rambo. Like, okay. Really. Now I got, I got, I got one more from Chris. Or we could go with the rapper talk. This one is a slightly better, but I went with the harshest one from Chris first. So if y'all hold ride with Chris again, they do get better. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still ride with Chris. I gotta ride, I gotta ride with him. Okay, I gotta ride with him. Okay, we already know. What's okay, up. there's a there's a video going around, Cody. I know you don't play video games, but in NBA 2K, you make a my player. You should at least know what a my player is. Um, but basically, you making your player and you you working them up, you building them up so he get good. You know what I'm talking about and the the more work you put in on your your guy, the better he becomes. You know what I'm saying? So they got people that spend hours and days and everything like that. Like I I'm spent I spent hours on my guy and I'm just I'm a ninety overall. That's my rating. Um, they had this guy on YouTube. He's he was like a, a ninety two or ninety three or something like that. That takes a long time to get your my player up to up to that rate. So his so called girlfriend logged on his account and deleted his main player that was like a 93 okay the question is i I guess i gotta put it in some kind of way so cody could understand it you know what i'm saying so it could uh, okay you understand 
What would you do yeah, if your significant other came in and you found out she deleted your my player? What? Well, because that's time that you put in. That's effort that you put in. That's like you doing. That's like we doing a whole podcast. Yeah, and Kim, before I, I uploaded, Kim come up here and delete that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I get it. I get okay. it. Or Jasmine to come in. Or and Jasmine. Play. I get it. Exactly. I get it. So well, I'll go first. I'll go yeah, first. Let because, me know. Um, I know. <laughs> I know G had uh, wanted to put me first for a couple of Let me start first. With this one. Uh-huh. What I would do is I will go inside our bathroom and every little article of makeup, mascara, anything you got, I'm flushing it down the toilet. <laughs> you start you start brand new as well. <laughs> uh-huh. And I'm not and I'm not buying anything new. Uh, There's nothing coming out of our account to buy anything new. Mm. Nope. Oh no, I'm 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 pissed. I'm pissed. <laughs> he said I'm pissed. Mm. You don't came you don't came at me like that. Uh, I'm coming at you like that. So it's obvious it's obviously a reason why you come at me like that because you feel a certain type of way. Mm. And so now I feel that same type of way. So you're gonna receive that same energy <laughs> reflected right back at you. Uh Right back at you. Same I thing. You. I got you. Same thing, different person. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. you, man. Uh, Greg, how would you do, man? Yeah. Now, you didn't work hard on your, your my play, but you uh, just come in there and delete uh, your my play, man. See, it, it, it touched me different because I, you know, I actually have a my play. So, uh, <laughs> like, I, uh, man, I probably go stay in my mama house, man. We, we just trying to <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm gonna my mama. going to resolve these issues, bro. Like, like, that's real, man. I heard my heart watch that video, bro. Man, and, uh, <laughs> for real, Cody, man. Cody, you gotta oh, see my it. Man, my man, my man looked oh, my at man. my man looked at her, and she, she, he was like, he was like, you recording me right? He said, you recording me right? She said, yeah, I'm recording. He said. You need to leave right now before I do something. I'm, I'm regret. <laughs> he was about to choke the shit out of there. He was like, "You, you need to get out of here." The man started crying. He, so he started high, crying. Man. Like he was like, "Ah, he drunk." He's like, "Don't do this to me right now. I'm drunk." I was like, "Oh shoot, man, did that, man." He just came back from the oh, Gucci store, God, man. man. Just came back from the Gucci so store. And, and she deleted oh, that man, Bob Blair. No, man. hey, let's let's be real. No, no real queen would do that to their king. Nah, nah, for you sure. Right. For sure. No. You right. You right. But some of them talks out there, they would, though. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. Yeah. So you know what I mean? That's that that for me. That's what I mean. Real talk. So, so like, like I said, Chris Chris got better with that one. I don't I don't know. Nah, the army radical pushed. ones was a little wild, but I mean he, I mean, <laughs> at least we got the the my player one because I'd be hot too. And he talking about starting over. Uh, yeah, I, I might. It might be. Yeah, it's here. Women, true. women listen to the podcast too. Women do not touch your man's NBA 2K. Do not turn the game on. <laughs> do not do anything with NBA 2K. If you delete that my yeah. player, he might start mm. over and with what, you because he has to start over with that my player. He might have to start over with another woman. I'm telling you. Yeah. Do not touch right. that my what, player. What else? What what else do we have that the women shouldn't do? Because we know oh, that no. we have uh, uh, a lot of female listeners. Yeah. Um, what else should the women should the women not do? Let's leave do we need to save this? Do we we need to table this for another mm-hmm. podcast? I, 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 I think so. I think we, that's we, need, we need to table that for when coach. you guys yeah. when y'all come down because um, I'm gonna let y'all know now. Jasmine and Cody, I'm trying to get them to come up with the topics for when they come oh, down to do the, the couples therapy mm-hmm. or the marriage counseling. Or I don't know what we call the shit, but um, y'all got a title for? I thought it was just what else? Yeah, I, think, I, I can't nah, remember. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's marriage counseling, it's a couples therapy, be, uh, is one or two. I forgot what we call it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be couples therapy. Yeah, so yeah, um, sure. that might need to be one of the ones on there because that might need to be something like, okay, what do what what do women have to say? Because I need them to retort that. I can't just put that yeah, on the podcast yeah, and then we're going yeah, to sound looking crazy. But that's I, too, that's but, too good to put on it. Yeah, but, but Cody, right, I, right. I do want Let's you – while we oh, – my bad. Ahead, Real quick, while no, we wait, go while ahead, we go waiting, ahead. I'm gonna talk a little bit. I need you to call Darrell. I need you to call him. <laughs> you want me to call him right now? I, I, I need you to call him right now, cause um, cause I, I, I the only reason cause I need him to answer this question. I need him to answer the question. Okay. That's the only reason. Let me uh, let me go ahead and do that. Y'all, y'all talk about I'm gonna do that. Okay. Yeah, but uh, 
it, yeah, the my player, women, please don't do that. I'm not gonna tell y'all what not what to do and not to do and all that stuff. I just want you to know, do not mm-hmm. touch a man's my player. It was hours put in to that my player, hours, yeah. and money too. Money too. Yes, <laughs> yes, money too. That that's a lot of time, effort. That's a lot of focus, yeah. and Investment. man. You know how mad yeah. I'd be with Kim if she deleted my my player? Man, no. I, mm, mm. That's that's my queen, boy. But I, I ain't, whoa, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I ain't gonna I know, lie to I you. Know, I feel you. I, I, mm-hmm. Man. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad Patricia don't even like basketball, so <laughs> they don't even, nah, she ain't even gonna mess with it. She'll, Kim, turn TV, she'll turn TV off, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, Kim don't so. be messing with my game either. So yeah, I, I yeah. guess that's good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She come in here and watch me every now and then, but that's about that's the right, extent right. of what she do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. That ain't every woman though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to sure. women too. But yeah, that is to them facts out there. Hey, mm-hmm. y'all I'm listening. I better watch what I got. <laughs> For real. <laughs> y'all might have some some women trying to bleach out my place. So. Man. Right. For real. <laughs> But uh, that's crazy. But I want to let everybody know um, on the podcast when we we all come together. I I got me I got a couple of webcams and stuff like that, so I'm gonna be recording. Watch out, man. I'm gonna be doing it live. Got me a couple of tripods and all kinds of stuff. Great, I'm trying to step my game up, man. I'm trying to step the the podcast I'm game. Good, up. Man. So we we gonna be doing it kind of big, man. So um, yeah. I, I got it coming in this week. I think all all the stuff should be in by Sunday, so I can kind of test it and make sure I know what oh, I'm doing. Okay. So when everybody yeah. come over, we can get it get it going. And Adrian talking about he gonna come over, so you know we are gonna have to have a special Adrian one. Gonna be there? Okay. Yeah, we we gonna, we gonna do a couples right. one, and then I wanna have the fellas come on together too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have a fellas man. podcast, and we do that as well because everybody gonna be there. So that'd be That's good. What's up, man? So, Shout out to the chosen musicians too because I just got my I just got my, my hoodie today. in too. You know what I'm saying? You got your pants? I got my I got okay. my hoodie, man. I got my dope music hoodie man. in today, man. I got it, man. Yeah. yeah. So, so that, that's that's real that, dope. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's looking like Cody can't get the real. Shoot, I don't know where, where he going. Well, he, he's still on shore, he, ain't he? Nah, the real here. Oh, okay. Right I thought he was saying he was going offshore. Nah, he, he was saying he might be going offshore. Oh, um, okay, okay. He, he had something to do. So he said okay. he, he didn't want us to have to wait on him. So that's, yeah, the, that's the only reason he ain't on the podcast today. Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Nah, I couldn't. I couldn't get uh, couldn't, couldn't get the real on. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. It, ain't, it ain't no big deal. I just wanted. I just really wanted him to answer the my my player question because I know how he be going. He, he <laughs> oh my god! Like women, if, if you think we bad talking mm. about that, uh, don't mm. you touch the real my player. As a matter of fact, Man. if you play, if you turn it on talking about you playing a game, not even deleting it. You, if you playing a mm. game and dropping his points per game, you might. Mm-hmm. You might get done. I mean, that's you. Don't nah, don't turn it on. Real, real, and book. Yeah, you know, but, book too. Yeah, book like, ain't played the game yet. He's still overseas. Wait, I, wait till book come I know, back, man. But when you do, yeah. we know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know right. how dedicated and and little Dwayne is to that game. So yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Nah. But anyway, women, please. That's just a. That's just a. Every year, for some reason, women do that on. Um, YouTube, and they think it's like a prank or something. That's not a prank. That's not nothing nah. to be fucking with. Don't fuck with no, no man's my player. If you want to be, if you want to live, don't do that. It's, somebody going to shoot somebody. want to live? Somebody. Come on, come on now. I'm, just, that bad? I'm telling you the truth, bro. Like, how, man, if you saw that boy start crying, that man started crying on there. Like, ah, I'm drunk. Why is you doing this to me? He was like, yeah, he was hurt, man. She was like, I read it. You can get it back. She was like, I can't get it back. He said, stupid man. <laughs> that thing was funny. But anyway, um, yo, what y'all, y'all got anything in closing, man, that we need to go over? Uh, Gray, you got anything? Man, nah, man. Just shout out to the chosen musician. Man. Shout out. Got my hoodie today. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. I love My stuff came through. Mm-hmm. Your stuff came through, too? Yes, sir. Came, came I, thought, I, thought you, I thought you were blocked. I was blocked? Nah, we, we settled that issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, got it, <laughs> we settled the invoices. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. I got so my, we, I got mine a couple of days ago. I got mine a oh, couple of days ago. Man. A couple of days yeah, ago? How good. come I, I just got mine today and you got a couple of days ago? Well, I'm saying, what you will? Hold up. I just got mine today, too. 
Hey, hey, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> I got okay. you. Well, what, what, you, got, what you got going start, on over there, man? In the mud, man. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. What you got going over there, man? At AverageBlackMan.com. Uh, yeah, the same old, same old, man. AverageBlackMan.com. I was about to publish um, um, a blog today. I kind of restrained from doing it because I think I want to do another one. Like, it's something else that's kind of like on my heart that I have to put out. So, mm -hmm. I didn't put it out. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, stay, stay tuned with uh, AverageBlackMan.com, man. Mm -hmm. I've been getting a lot of views. I have thousands of views on there. Mm -hmm. um, that's good, man. And I really appreciate it. It's only been, uh, what, eight months mm -hmm. of me actually posting and stuff like that. So, to me, you know, that's a, a huge accomplishment, man. People yes, sir. are looking at looking at what I write, you know what I'm saying? And they, I guess they appreciate it, man, because they come back yeah. and uh, read, read the next one. So I definitely appreciate that. So That's what's happening. That's the what's next, happening. The next one's going to be some, some, uh, something special. Something special. That's what's happening. Shout out. Make sure y'all go to AverageBlackMan.com and check that out, man. You know what I'm saying? He, po he posts his... Um, by, what, every week, every other week, something like that? You try to get a blog out there? Uh, I would like to, but no, nah, I'm not that consistent. Okay, I tried, <laughs> I, tried, I tried to hype you up, you know what I'm saying? I know you're not that consistent, <laughs> but you could have rolled with the shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I ain't finna lie, because they, <laughs> like, they can see when the post was put up. Hey, like, nah, it's all right. Hey, we're nuts for this week. It's all right. Like, what is this dude doing? You got enough content for, for anybody new listening anyway. They can read it. You can read the new shit. And you oh, yeah. The old, I, I you can read a, the older stuff. Of, you be good. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You're right about that. I yeah. got a lot of content on yeah. there um, for people to check out. But, yeah, it's not every week. I don't I don't like to force content, man. I like to um, have it naturally. Okay. Most of the time it's something that is going on or something that somebody I know that, you know, is going through something. You got to have a muse. I'm tied in. Right. You have your yeah, views, so right? I, I, tap, tap it into that creative, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Creative juice. Yeah. 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 It should be organic. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come better. Okay. Absolutely. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's exactly how it is. Well, I had something I could have dropped today, but I didn't feel like it was, you know, it, it just right wasn't time. genuine. It was, it was just me putting something out. I don't yeah. want to just put things out because, shit, it's my, it's my damn page. Mm -hmm. I don't have to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. have to put anything out, you know what I'm saying? Like unless I feel like it's mm -hmm. something that people appreciate, you know what Absolutely. I mean? Like yeah. something that people will actually attribute to it being me. Mm -hmm. You know? That's what's yeah, happening. Man, for sure. For well, sure. But go ahead, Fran. Go ahead. Uh, but no, like we said at the beginning of the show, make sure y'all go to our um YouTube page, the Man's View Podcast. Uh, check that out. Um subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We need that subscription. You know what I'm saying? What saying? Click the link below. Click you, the link. you know what I'm saying? Please do that. You know what I'm saying? That that helps us out. Make sure we out there popping. Yeah. Um, and then you can yeah. still check us out yeah. on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and um, Anchor, like normal, plus all the other streaming sites that we got. Um, hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Hit us up on Instagram. Hit us up on what's the other one? Instagram. Hit us up. Instagram popping. As I, as as, as oh, the right. As the young kids say, it's popping. Mm. Um, anything else, man? Yo, Cody, make sure you you try to put a link to the Facebook page on that um on the website too. You know what I'm saying? Under the under your um where you got uh, the MVP at. So if they go on yeah. there, they can go straight to the YouTube page as well. So um, if y'all ain't got anything okay. else, we go and get up out of here. Y'all got anything else? Nah, we good. We straight. Okay, but yeah, yeah. No, I got, I got something else. Oh, you got something? Go into it. Are we trying to go into it? What's up? <laughs> he said, "What's up? You trying to go to sleep? Or are you trying to get into it? Get into it. Because I got a couple other things that I really want to talk about. Uh, people ain't trying to hear that right now. You know what I'm talking about? But say it for next week. <laughs> say that for next week. You know what I'm talking about? Because I had something that honestly we would still been talking about right now. But I, I like the lighter side yeah. of it. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know what the topic is, and I'm gonna just play the music. I was talking about. Well, no, it. no, I'm gonna just, I'm just put no. it. I want y'all to think about this. I want you to think about this, because uh, it next week is not gonna be relevant anymore. But um, Kanye, <laughs> Kanye went to the White House, and he was in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
he was in there doing Cunye. it. He was doing his thing. Cunye. He was doing his thing uh-huh. with Trump. Had the little MAGA hat and all that stuff like that. Every, uh-huh. I, 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 everybody got on Kanye, and I think it's very warranted. Um, I, I, we didn't, I didn't like what he was doing in there. I didn't like how it was coming off. It just didn't look well. Um, uh-huh. Also, um, I think uh-huh. so much focus is on Kanye. I think my question is, what about Jim Brown? He was sitting right there next to him. I don't hear nobody say anything about Jim what Brown. What did he say? No, hold. I, 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 that's all. I just want to know what about Jim Brown. That's all I want to know. He was there. He was there, shaking his head, smiling, halfway sleep. I don't know if nigga was sleep or not. I don't know, but he was showing that room. He, he was showing that room, smirking. He looked like an old nigga, you know, when he lay when he's sitting on the couch and he just laying back, kind of like smiling, like mm, acting like he paying yeah. attention, shaking his head. I didn't know if he was doing yeah. that or if he was I, awake. I, I know that look personally, I, I, personally. Exactly. I know that look. But I don't know. He didn't say anything about it. So I just want to leave that with y'all. We're not gonna talk right. about it, but that's what that's one of the things I was gonna talk about. I didn't want to talk about Kanye. I want to talk about how we feel about Jim Brown because all the stuff he mm-hmm. did and everything like that, the respect that we we have for him, kind of mm-hmm. kind of got me feeling. The respect is still there. The respect kinda, is still there. Okay, but uh, the particulars we, can be discussed, but we're not discussing. Yeah, we, we, we're, not, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk so, about it. But uh, yeah. shout out, shout out to Greg. Greg said we need to listen to this song, so that's what we're going to go out to. You know what I'm saying? Light it up, Jay Z, feature Jay Z. <laughs> yeah. Ha. Huh. Shut up.